Hello and welcome to today's crypto tutorial where I'll show you how you can use Sub Wallet, which is a third party extension for the uh, Polkadot ecosystem, right? You can hold Dot on here, you can hold Kusama, you can hold a lot of the parachain coins as well, and uh, also some tokens which are built on top of those parachains. So we're gonna kick it off with this extension. And by the way, if you haven't already downloaded it, the link can be found in the description of this video and also in the pinned comment. So just go there and then just download the extension for Sub Wallet, either on Mozilla Firefox or on Google Chrome, depending which one you're using. Now you've got two options here. If you already have a seed phrase, which is the mnemonic key, usually 12 words or 24 words, depending on how you set it up, you can simply import it by hitting the import account from pre-existing seed here and you can choose an account name. You basically select it, you enter your 12 or 24 word mnemonic seed and uh, you can also tick this box here which is to auto connect to all dApps after importing which means that every time you access a website you'll be prompted if you want to connect uh, using sub wallet to that website because they're assuming that maybe you can use the wallet maybe you can interact with polkadot in some way on that website right so you may get your antivirus throwing some sort of virus errors etc right i have had that happen with mine uh, then you just hit next step and then it just picks up the name or you give it a name and then you just import it and that's it right that's how you do it there uh, we're gonna go with create new account in this video though but before that just know that the other option is that you can import a private key from metamask as well because it does support the evm chains that they are on polkadot and kusama such as moon river moonbeam uh, also astar and shidden and you can also restore your account from a json backup file so if you would have exported your account from polka.js on a json file with a password then you can import it and you need that password in order to access the funds without the password you cannot unlock it you cannot decrypt it i should say hence why the json backup file always comes with a password the existing seed though only comes with the words there is no password now let's go with create a new account so now uh, we're getting the 12 word mnemonic seed here as you can see uh, you can simply copy it or you can download it you can back it up you can just hit the copy to clipboard if you want right you can just do that let's say i want to do that for example i would just save it of course i would actually write this down on a piece of paper and not save it anywhere on a notepad because it's not safe there's that risk there right and as you can see it created two accounts for me one for the with the substrate address this is a substrate generic address and then from this you basically get a public address derived from this address for every single parachain okay just to make that clear this is your generic substrate address and then derived from this you get a unique address for each generic parachain but they all linked link back to this address so that's uh, that's why this address is very important and then there's the evm address as well which starts like the ethereum one with zero x in front and so yeah let's say yeah i would have I, i've saved it right so I just tick this box here and then i should get the next step but of course you need to tick these two boxes as well because they don't know if you want an evm address or not so let's just assume you do uh, then you hit next step here okay then you give it a password so let me give it a password okay now that we've got that we can add the account with the generated seed so let's do that and there we go okay it's as easy as that and now we've got different options here we've got the polkadot relay chain we've got the kusama relay chain we've got the receive button here which also generates a qr code for us and also the send uh, and xcm transfer which is pretty interesting because this basically allows you to teleport from one parachain to another or from a relay chain to a parachain which supports the transfers which has the channel open because not all of them have that channel open okay so that's important to keep in mind as well uh, we can also hit these little three dots here and it shows the zero balances uh, also if you click uh, on this here allow you on any parachain on any chain uh, let me just hit the drop down here so here for example uh, right now uh, there's Polkadot relay chain kusama pioneer but if you want to add other ones you can okay just so you know so what you need to do is you need to go to custom networks okay and here you can see a full list of all the ones that are available even rococo the testnet one there's moonbeam here if you want to add it for example you can do that see it's added successfully you can add uh, astar as well you can go down you can add other ones like for example uh, interlay uh, darwinia for example you can go down and add more maybe polkadex and then you hit done 
and now they don't actually show but if you want to send and you select what you want to send here there's a drop down as you can see we've got dot here okay and then if you scroll down you can see the full list here okay so it's because we added all the different networks so now i've got glimmer we've got usdc on moonbeam bnb on moonbeam everything that's on moonbeam all the different tokens on moonbeam okay because you can see moonbeam underneath we've also got the tokens on astar also on interlay the different tokens there as well also on darwinia and also on polkadex okay and uh, if we click this let me cancel this out here if we click this now we can see all the different networks that we've added here okay so those are all the custom networks and of course we can add more if we want to uh, there's also the nft section here if you click on nft you could see your nfts if you had any uh, there's the crowd loan section as well if you would have uh, taken part in any of the crowd loans with your wallet they would show up there also staking if you are staking the data would show here uh, so that's how it works also xcm transfer you can choose between the origin chain and the destination chain okay so you can see that the channels open between polkadot and moonbeam between polkadot and astar and akala statement as well the testnet uh, common good parachain and so this is the full list basically that you've got here and uh, this is how it works let me cancel this so yeah if you want to send out you just send out like that like i showed you if you want to receive you just hit receive uh, you get the wallet address you hit get wallet address and uh, you choose which account do you want it for do you want it for the substrate account or for the evm if you want it for the substrate you then choose which network do you want it for let's see one in the polkadot one you could see it here you can just copy it to clipboard or you can just scan it uh, with your phone if you want to be able to uh uh, copy it onto your phone and then basically send it out from an exchange because most exchanges on your phone will allow you to scan QR codes and that will just add the uh, public address which you see here directly and then of course you can export the private key if you want you can also view the account on the explorer so that's pretty much it very straightforward as you can see here it may seem complicated but once you play around with this for a while it's very straightforward it is easier than using the official polkadot web wallet this is a nice alternative there's also a mobile version which offers you the same functionalities i don't think i'm going to do a tutorial on the mobile version just because it's so similar it's basically like a copy of this so whatever you've seen here now you can apply this on the mobile phone as well that's been it from today's tutorial i hope you found this informative thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like and comment to help the algorithm see you in the next video Bye bye